what is up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tia. you can call me tia or sunny whichever one you like girl and today we are going to get into this face okay the face it's it's really given it's really given smooth it's giving buttery it's giving you know it's just it's just there so i want to show you guys what i do my products that I use, all, all of that, okay? So if you wanna see what I do, then definitely keep on watching. All right, so I currently have a couple of breakouts right now because I did a detox mask two days ago, and I forgot, when you do a detox mask, your skin's gonna purge. <laughs> so I have like a breakout here. This one is going away, but you can still kinda see like the pimple patch or whatever, but nonetheless, we about to slap some makeup on it. First thing I like to use is this Power Grip Primer. It's so old, and it's honestly a really good dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. It looks like it, and it actually like has like that same gripping power. So it's really good to use in like the summertime when it's really hot out. The matte foundation. And I just put this all over my face. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. Even on my neck a little bit because I do, well, on my chin slash neck. Cause I do put like foundation here. Just bring it down my neck a little bit. It is, it's gripping, okay? It's gonna grip that foundation up. It honestly might have a little bit more grip than the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I did get some in the Sephora sale, but I low key wanna get the e.l.f. one again. Now for my foundation, I'm gonna use the NARS Soft Matte Foundation in Maria. It's a medium deep shade, and it has more of like a coolish golden undertone. I've been doing like the self tanning drops lately, and girl, it's been giving your girl a nice little, little, nice little tan. And since it's begin, it's still like springtime, but it's been getting really hot in the DMV lately. So. My, I usually use the Natural Radiant Foundation from NARS, and that one does really good during the like winter time because it's more moisturizing. Well, it's more hydrating, but since it's been hot, it's been separating on me when like I'm starting to sweat. This one, however, doesn't do that. We gotta go with the flow. Look at the weather app, okay? Whenever you're about to do your foundation, I mean, whenever you're about to do your makeup, Look at that weather app to see how that weather is looking. Cause y'all know how the spring, it be flip flopping like nobody's business. And then to like blend it in, I just go like this. And sometimes I'll do like a little circular motion as well. That's only when I don't really want a lot of like coverage. If I want more coverage, then I'm gonna do a little patting situation. Lately I've been on a roller coaster. Trying to get a hold of my emotions But all that I know Is I need you close And I'ma scream and shout for what I love Passionate but I don't give no fucks I And that's really all I do for foundation Like I typically don't like to put a lot of foundation on When it's hot out Because It just starts to feel heavy And I mean, really, I just don't use a lot of foundation anyways. Like, I like to let, like, my little moles and stuff peek through. Picked up this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This concealer was recommended by my friend, Kayla. She said she uses this, and I was like, oh, let me just try it. Because back back in the day, it used to be the, the, the thing. It was the it girl of the makeup gurus, okay? Okay, let me try it. And I got the shade Cookie. Used it the other day and it was like 80 degrees outside. It did not move. Didn't move, didn't separate, didn't do nothing. I'm adding it to my makeup routine. Sure am. And I just put a little bit under here and I kind of go up into my inner corner because I like for my inner corner to look bright and give me more of a awake look. My eyes are super small. I want to say they're beady, but they're just hooded. So, it can look very tiny. And when I put some of my highlight, my concealer, in the inner corner, it just makes it look more awake. And I just saw this on Lemonade, 
and this guy he put some here and here but i didn't like how that looked on my face but it does like lift your face up but it was just too much for me i was like oh no I do put a little bit on my Cupid's bow to like highlight that little area. And then we're gonna blend it out. This is a Sonia Kashuk sponge. It's dirty. It's not my, it's not the day, okay, to be washing stuff. You really wanna have a light hand when blending out. That's how you wanna get like that. Very flawless complexion, airbrush looking, like somebody literally just painted on your face. And then here, I just kind of rock it back and forth like that and then just keep on blending and sometimes like when it gets to like my cheekbone because this is my cheekbone area I don't go past that I'll kind of use the bottom of the sponge to take up some of that concealer if I put too much or if it's like just too much now and is that everything that I do? yeah and then if more comes up then more comes up but yeah, I just want to make this like tutorial for you guys so it's nice and detailed. Because the inside your heart is there any room for me? I would have to hold my breath till you get down on my knees because you only want to hold me when I stop really putting foundation on my eyes because it started to, I don't know, like I just feel like. It's unnecessary, especially when I don't put eyeshadow on. Now it is time to do a little contour. I just picked up this new contour. What? I'm gonna say contour palette. Very bougie, contour palette. This new contour palette from Patrick Ta. It has a cream and a powder contour shade slash like bronzer. And that's the reason why I got it because I think I'd rather cream contour and I want my contour to be very light. I'm so over like the harsh contour phase like that. That was cute, that was a cute moment, but now I'd rather have everything lighter and softer and just more airy. So I use this like angled, this is probably, this. yeah, this is a foundation brush. And it's a Sephora, it's a Sephora 47 brush. And I'll just like, you know, sweep it here, pat it, kind of bring it up and then just boom and come up a little bit here, push my little scoff back and just like tap it. Now I'm gonna take my sponge again and just go over that edge because I don't want the edge to be harsh. I want it to be very seamless. So just going over the edge and blending it. This nice little angled brush right here and we're gonna contour my nose. I'm gonna use just the cream contour shade and go down my nose like so ah it's shitting the brush is shitting and then i do like to go up into my brow it just gives like the whole face mm, more symmetry so symmetry is like what you try to get to that's as close as perfection as you're going to get yeah i know i'm about to get it again and just hit them sides Hit the sides, you know. Make everything look blended. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier setting powder. I am so thankful they came out with the honey shade. Cause girl, the setting powder was great before, but this nice little peachy, yellowy powder, Honey. So I'm gonna take the other side of the sponge and I'm gonna rock back and forth into the powder. This kind of just helps the powder go on smoother because sometimes if you just pick up the powder, it don't go on that smooth, honestly. But I'm going to set right here, set that chin chin, set all of this, all like literally all of this area, my T-zone area, I set all of that 
But you see, when I go like that, it's still a crease. I'm not about to set that crease, like, no ma'am. So I'm gonna blend it first, sponge, and then set that thing. And I'm looking up to set it, cause that just helps my little eye fat. I got, okay, I, I just got little fatty eyes. I set the corner of the eye too, cause sometimes my eyes water, and that just helps it. Set that nose, and then set this forehead. And I kind of like tap it into my face. Like I'm not gonna just leave a bunch of powder just sitting on my face. I actually tap it into the makeup. Now before we wipe that off, I'm gonna take some more of that bronzer shade and just go ahead and set the contour. This is like the perfect little bronzer shade for my skin tone right now. Usually I'll use the Fenty Beauty, but this one is perfect. It's not too dark. Put some here to accentuate my cupid's bow. Okay, and then I'm going to sweep everything away with my micro smooth powder and just like blend everything and smooth everything together go on top of my eyes now. And this is actually what I use to set my, my eyes, even though there's nothing on there, but I just set it so it's not getting oily, like super oily throughout the day. I remember when I didn't use a blush, now I cannot not use a blush. So I just got this Berry Trio blush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Girl, I take these two right here, but this one is pretty like in the fall. Oof, it be eating the girls up. I take some on my little nose and then I take some here. I don't know why I put it on my nose, but I feel like it just mm, kind of just makes my my like makes it look like I'm blushing like it makes it look like super like cute and dainty and girly all right so for the brows my brows are microbladed my ear itch so all I do is I'm using some of the refi um brow pomade and I just take some on more of like the outer part like the side of the brush and I do smush the brush together to make sure it's as skinny as it can be this is my little makeup rag I always keep a little makeup napkin or something that is skinny okay so the reason i do that is because i like to make hair like stroke just going to brush my brows up so now brows are brushed up got some of the product on my brush and i'm going to basically go over where he already made hair like strokes because i accidentally covered it up with the foundation. Then I'm gonna go on the bottom and I always start at the outer part of my brow, like where that arch is and go down because I'd rather that part be darker than starting here and then it's like, oops, it's a lot of product on there. And then just bring it towards the uh, beginning of the brow and swipe up, swipe that product up into the brow. <laughs> And I do use this product to actually create my little moles. I'm gonna just make one right there because I got a little bit. <laughs> And then I do have a mole here and there. And then now I'm gonna take the brow glue and basically push my brows up. Cause I like the laminated look. Like that look is just it for my brows because I don't have a lot of brow. If I had a lot of brow, I probably wouldn't do laminated brow look. But since I don't. Girl, I want my brows to look full. I do still use this uh, foundation, but I use it to clean up my brow underneath. And I just take a little bit of it on a nice concealer brush. This one is from Sigma. And so I'm going to basically go right underneath. Are done. 
They look good. They look almost perfect. So the only type of like eyeshadow I do is take the bronzer from the Patrick Ta palette and sweep it on my eyelid. That's literally it. And then I'm gonna take my Lancome Idol Tint Liner and the Lancome Tint Idol Mascara. This one is the regular, it's not waterproof because woo, waterproof be having me fighting for my life when I'm taking my makeup off. But I just create a nice tight line to my lashes just so when I put my false lashes on, it blends in better. Boom. And I kind of just dust my top lashes and bottom lashes first. And then you're gonna see what I do to like make my lashes on the bottom look more pointed. That's how I get like, I'll show you guys. Oh, I don't wanna show y'all my eyelash glue cause it looks so disgusting. Mm, it's just a brush on adhesive. So I just brush it on and let it sit for like a couple minutes. Nah, not a couple minutes. Cause if you wait too long, it's not gonna stick properly. But while I let that sit for a couple of seconds, I am going to complete my under eye a little bit more. So I'll take the brush like this and I'll go under like so and basically clump the lashes up together. And yeah, basically just keep repeating that same thing. Let it dry and repeat it again. Let it dry, let it repeat it again. And now see it looks like kind of clear. It's not as white as before. Let me see if I can show y'all. It's not as white as before. So that's when I know it's ready now. So I'm gonna just pop these lashes on. <gasps> Excuse me, and then uh, do my lips. And I just use a tweezer to apply my lashes. Nothing too crazy. And I just like pinch it together and try to get it as close to my lash line as possible. Because I don't like when it's like that separation between the two. Like it be, it be so noticeable. Like you know I got makeup on, but like I don't want you to see where the lash stops and ends type thing. Top off my lashes. I'm gonna just put a little bit of eyeliner on top. And sometimes the glue be like leaving it like look shiny. But for the lips, for the lips, I just got another one because I be tearing this thing up. So for my lip liner, I use the Charlotte Tilbury liner in a foxy brown. And then usually my go-to lip, where is that? Oh, my go-to lip is like more of a peachy nude to kind of resemble how my lips look so this is the hourglass gloss in child that's such like a weird name every time i say it, i just be like why would y'all name it that and then i use my baby this is my go-to gloss okay it has a little bit of like mint in it so it makes your like breath smell fresh it's glossy it just it does everything it needs to do i always like to accentuate my cupid's bow so i do that first And now I shall take my gloss and apply that to the center of my lips. Now I'ma cover these edges up. We ain't spend all that time working on them for nothing. And I'm gonna take my Jumbo Continuous Setting Spray and set this face up. All right, you guys, so that is the look. That is everything that I do to my face. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Um, everything I use will be in the description box. So yeah, check that out, all the links and everything. But yeah, I think that is it. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and Lemonade. 
as well as subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe, girl. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.